I know that last time I came with an entire room full of people that was probably much more exciting. I've taken some hits already about not bringing any children, but as it is the community of learners that I'm gonna spotlight, they, I hope, are comfy in their PJs and getting ready to go to bed. So I will speak some on their behalf and then I will let a video also do much of the showing. So a couple quick things. I definitely want this to be a spotlight, not like a report out on our early childhood program, but I do want to make sure that everybody knows one of the most common questions is why do we have this program? All districts don't do it this way, and why, why does it exist? Why do we spend so much time talking about it? So one of the biggest pieces to consider with our early childhood program is any time we have students in Lake Forest who need special services, once they turn three, they are our responsibility. We need to honor, we need to evaluate, we need to honor IEPs, and this is really where the basis of our inclusive practices that we have been talking about and working on for so many years really begins. Um, this is the absolute foundation of that. So as we have this very important responsibility to support this particular population, we know that best practice says as we go to support students with IEPs, they are best served when they are also surrounded by typical peers. So our early childhood program does just that. It's a blended program that supports both students who are typically developing and students with IEPs. Now, ideally, you have a 70%, 30% ratio between typical peers and students with IEPs. So as we've seen our numbers grow of students with IEPs, we are working to continue to match and build our typical peer population. So when you look at this, how has it grown over the years? This graph really very clearly shows you the red are, um, the red bars are students with IEPs, the blue are typical peers. So when you look back at 2016-17, it was a very tiny program that was only servicing students with IEPs. You can see how it has grown and where we are in 2022-23 for some exact numbers. Um, in 2019-20, when I became the principal at Sheridan, we were at 13 typical peers and 15 students with IEPs across the whole day. That equated to like one classroom. We now have three classrooms um, in the four years since I have been there. Um, we have over 30 of each at this point um, and growing. So. Um, you can imagine, you know, in 2016, 2017, five students with IEPs, we now have 31. And remember, those 31 students are students we have, we have to serve, right? Um, and we want to make sure that we're providing the best environment we can um, for them. So in order to do that, one of the things we embarked on was creating videos that would really tell the story. Um, it's a hard story to just talk about or put on a website, um, but when you actually see it in action, um, it is incredibly exciting. So the video that we are about to show you is what's considered the long video, which is three minutes, and then there are a series of short videos that all have a focus, either parent testimonials, student testimonials, um, benefits for students with IEPs, benefits for students who are typically developing, um, a short overview as well as the benefits of being attached to an elementary school because there are those as well. Kiana's gonna start the video for us. Thank you. Oh. 
We have what often is called this hidden gem that is a preschool program for three through five year olds. It's two half day segments depending on the age group. And it's a blended model, which means that roughly 70% of the students are typically developing three, fours, and fives, as well as then any students with special needs who come and get their services here and participate in the classroom. A key differentiator of our preschool program is that the service providers, including the speech language pathologists, the occupational therapists, physical therapists, and social workers are within the classroom collaborating and working with the children five days a week. All of our staff are certified. Students with uh, those services receive those services, but all students receive that benefit. Our preschool day consists of differentiated instruction in both large and small groups as well as individualized attention. We allow for child-led play during our free choice when children explore different interest areas around the classroom. One thing that I think is really unique about the program is the low student-teacher ratio. In Teddy's preschool classroom, for example, there are um, nine children and three teachers, and it's great for him with his IEP to have his individual needs met within that classroom setting and not having to be taken outside of school when we entered this program, I wasn't aware that there were students of other abilities in the classroom, but I found that to be one of the best benefits and most unique aspects of this program. The additional resources have only benefited. Every kid can use those skills and always improve them. The other benefit is with the attachment to our K-4 building. The students get to go to the library, they get story time, they get to check out books, they have buddy classrooms, so the big kids will come and read with them or do projects with them. They just then have this continuum of curriculum as they make their way into kindergarten in our school system. I love Sheridan. Since I went to preschool here, it made transitioning to kindergarten a lot easier because I knew most of the people there from preschool. The dress up. I like the way with the sensory table. I like the animals. I love the swing and the slide. We love Sharon Preschool! that is a preschool program for three through five year olds. It's two half day segments depending on the age group and it's a blended model. I wanted to see myself again, but definitely. Oh, so just lastly, there were a lot of, or several examples in there that spoke to some of the benefits of integrating into the K-4 building. Um, one of, a few of the additional ways that aren't mentioned in there, you may have noticed on the, the last picture, um, one of the students wearing a Little Sharks um, t-shirt. So you've all heard about our houses and our families that we do at Sheridan. So they are not necessarily a part of those houses per se, but they're kind of their own Little Sharks house. So we did a domino challenge this fall. They had their own participation in it. Um, and we've also created an early childhood team leader who sits on our building leadership team, which has been incredibly instrumental in just keeping, keeping everybody aware of what's going on in early childhood, as well as um, having that voice of, hey, can we participate in that? Oh, how can we do that? So um, we're starting to integrate them into some of our assemblies and thinking, um, even with some of the spirit grants and things like that, how can they be more incorporated uh, into everything? So that is really, it's a bit of a labor of love for me after four years um, to see it grow and just see all of it come together and how many kids were able to serve. So I just hope that people continue to see it and um, send people our way. Thank you. Any questions?
this is open to anyone, right, from the school district, or is it just Sheridan families? No, great question. All District 67 families, it serves the whole district. It's just housed at Sheridan because we have the most space. Anyone else? Thank you. Since Sorry, you there were no children. Well, since you presented, that's where I'm going. Before you leave, you need to come up and get a picture with the board. You have to stand behind us, Melissa. That, nope. I was hoping that nope. I would get out of that since nope. Melissa I had will no take children. the picture. You come on back. Superintendent's report. Feel that way. A side note, all four of my children went to an integrated preschool, um, all as typicals, and I will tell you that it transformed how they interact today with students of all abilities. It was really powerful for them as individuals, so I'm so glad to be a part of a district that has that opportunity. <laughs> 